Hola peoples! Come to check out my new art supplies. <laughs> okay, okay. If you know, the camera makes me feel silly. Anyway, let's do this video really quick. So I wanted to show you the few art supplies that I got in the month of December. Um, not a lot because, of course, it's Christmas time, you're buying, you know, other things. So I don't have a whole, like a whole lot. Um, plus, like I said, most, I think I said in my last um, new art supplies for November, it's just kind of getting restocked on some things because a lot of my supplies are from years ago, you know, so trying to get back in and, and refresh stuff. So, and then some other stuff is just intrigue. So let me show you what I've got. First, I, I have these, I got this glitter paper. Move that. And I can't remember if I showed this. For some reason, I feel like this was November, but I'm not 100% sure. But, so I'm just showing it. I found this glitter paper at Kroger, and it was just so cool. I was like, I, I have no idea what to do with it. But it was, um, our, our store was new. And I'm looking for a way to open it. And they were having a sale on like everything. So I picked this up. I was like, I could do something with this. I just, I don't know what I could do with it. But it's got, look at all the pretty colors. It's really messy. <laughs> but whew, yeah. So I got that and the funny part was I got this like the day after I saw this at the Dollar Tree and it's just three sheets um, and it, they come in different color combinations um, but I picked this other one up anyway but I was like ah I just I don't know I could do something with glitter paper I, I don't know what I would do with glitter paper I also picked up this paper cutter uh, from it's the paper set on there the paper studio I got this from Hobby Lobby um, I either got this when it was 50% off or I used 40% off coupon I also got this Strathmore toned tan paper 50 sheets it is 80 pound weight in the the beige, not beige color, tan color, beige, yep, either one. So yeah, I got this from Amazon on sale for like $3. So, and I think I, I said previously I wanted, you know, I wanted the tone tan and the tone gray paper. So, yeah. Only thing I don't like is it's not perforated already, but for $3 and then <laughs> I finally got my hands on some big markets oh my goodness now I have no idea if I talked about this already but <laughs> you know I've wanted these so long and I kind of put out my mind that I was gonna get them because I've got those sharpies and then I found the condom markers and I've kind of been waiting because I was like, somebody's going to sell it for $10. I want it for $10. I'm not paying any more than $10. And I, I had been watching and watching and I hadn't seen it. Amazon had it for $9. So I snatched them up. But the, <laughs> what really makes me happy about them is that actually two days after I bought them on Amazon, I happened to be on Amazon again and looking. And they were even cheaper for $8. So I emailed Amazon and they gave me the difference. So I actually got these for $8 for the whole set. And I love it so much. I've used them once already. I'll put that video out soon. But the plastic is, I didn't take them out of the plastic because the plastic really works well to hold them in. And let's put scissors away. I also picked up off of Amazon this hammer mill color copy digital cover 100 pound weight eight and a half by 11 
And I picked this up because they saw a few other YouTube artists. They use this. They say that it is very comparable to the Copic is it Express It Blend It cards. Like mixing up names, I think. But something like that. Now, I've never used the Copic one. It, the price of it, I'm, I ain't paying that much for paper. I don't care. But this I found, and it was only $20. $20. Since I was ordering from Amazon, I went ahead and ordered some of this. Um, I've heard others really, really like it. If you remember, I think I showed in a different video that I was keeping my markers in a Dollar Tree case like this. And I had like four of them and they were sorted into. And the case, these cases, they work to keep them in. But the problem I was having was that my son was getting into the cases and just opening them up and having the markers all over the place and writing on stuff. And then too, when I was drawing, it was just too hard. I didn't like the way I was keeping up with the markers. It was aggravating, it was annoying. Okay, so I was looking at the Copic 72 count marker case on Amazon. And at the time, they had it for like 25, like $26, I think. It's, when you look right now, it's, I don't even see it on there anymore. But when I started to think about it, I was like, okay, 72 really isn't that many. And when you think about it, I was like, I'd, I'd have to have two for all the markers I have or that I want to get, <laughs> you know? And I was like, $50? So I ended up finding this case at Hobby Lobby. It's like this. It holds 24. I was like, well, maybe I could do something with this. You know, I was like, that works. As far as, I didn't even really show that, holding. Prisma colors and oh, there are no condoms in that one. Here we go. <laughs> and holding the condom markers and sharpies and all of that. You know, um, the only problem with it, <laughs> the only problem with it was I was wanting one case. I didn't want to lug around several different cases. So what I ended up doing was, because I I bought. Let me see, I have six of them. So what I actually ended up doing was I take two of them and snap them together and have them like this. Yeah. <laughs> and then when I'm actually coloring, I snap them all together. Hold on, let me show you. So now, when I'm working, let me see if I can turn it that way so you can see. All I have to do is have them out like that and I can easily flip through them. I'm trying to show you the best way, there we go. And I just flip them like that and get to the markers I need, put them back, because I, I can only take so much markers around me before I start to feel like ah, I can't do anything. So I kind of have to put back some as I'm working. So, and this really works. Only problem is, you know, like, there's one more set. I found another set of markers I'd like to buy and no way they'll fit in here. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for those, but yeah, this, this just ended up working. And this ended up being, right now, like I said, I have six. Um, so I have 144 slots and it actually, because the Sharpies are smaller, some of the Sharpies hold, like fit two to a slot. So, but technically it's 144 count and I only paid $4.19 uh, with tax after the coupon. So I paid around $24 for this case, so yeah. And that's it, that's all I got for the month of December. If you have any recommendations for, I like for products to try. I like trying out products, um, art products, as far as, especially ones that are, you know, everyone's kind of up for the those mainstream ones, you know, everybody's, doing Copics and 
uh, Prismacolors, but um, to me, I like staying <laughs> on the more frugal end of, you know, supplies. So I like trying out, um, you know, some different, different supplies. So if you have anything, you know, out there that you saw and are wondering about, let me know. And we'll see if we can't find a way to get them and try them out. Um, anyway, that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.